In this video, I'll show you how to make an interlaced th or threaded running stitch and a double laced running stitch. I'll be using three strands of two lengths of 30 centimeters of DMC Moulinet Special Stranded Embroidery Thread, an embroidery needle, a tapestry needle, a piece of cotton fabric, an embroidery hoop, a sharp pair of embroidery scissors and a fabric pen. Laced or threaded running stitch is a variation of running stitch that gives a lovely wavy effect. It's a great choice for outlines, flower stems or lettering. Start by making a row of running stitch using the embroidery needle. You can draw a dotted line on the fabric to help you make even stitches of the same length. Bring the needle up and make a straight stitch. This will set the length for all your running stitches. Bring the needle up one stitch length ahead of your first stitch and make another straight stitch the same length as the first stitch. Once you've made your row of running stitch, thread your tapestry needle with the colour you want for your lacing. Using a blunt tapestry needle will help you avoid piercing the fabric or the running stitch. Bring the needle up at the start of your row of running stitches. Then slide it under the first stitch, keeping the thread on the surface of the fabric. Then slide the needle under the next stitch from the opposite side. Continue weaving the lacing thread under the running stitches in a zigzag pattern until you reach the end. Take your needle down at the end of the last running stitch and secure your thread. You've now completed the laced running stitch. If you prefer it, you can also work another zigzag in the opposite direction to make a double laced or threaded running stitch. <laughs> 